How's it going, Ramores? It's me, Mr. Sharks. Today we are going to talk about Gurbanguly Berti Muhammadov, or Gurbanguly Berti Muhammadov, or Gurbanguly Berti Muhammadov, or Gurbanguly Berti Muhammadov. I'm, I'm going to stick with the first one because it is hands down my favorite. So as you know, there's this country in the world called Turkmenistan. I had to make a video on it ASAP. SCP can wait. A little background. Turkmenistan was released on September 27th, 1991. It had a majority Sunni Muslim Turkmen population that wanted to be less Russian-y and more Turkmen-y. That Cyrillic alphabet needs to go. You know what else needs to go? Us. From CIS. Because neutral is kind of a personality trait in Turkmenistan. It's home to the Gates of Hell and has several references to the Silk Road. Look at their flag for goodness sake. Its first president, Sapun Marat Niyazov, got 99.5% of the vote in Turkmenistan's first election. Even Okarina of Time couldn't match that on Metacritic. This man is something special. Better make a billion necessary monuments of him throughout the country. He also wrote a book. Better make monuments of that too. Unfortunately for Niyazov, his heart sucked. One day it sucked so much he DIED! Time for a sequel. Ladies and gentlefish, Gurbanguly Berti Muhammadov. At first he wasn't received as well with critics, but over time he would get closer to the sky, but could never reach the sky. Berti Muhammadov eventually decided that if he couldn't compete with his predecessor, he could at least be funny. So, he's not the best at comedy, but he makes up for it by being amazing at singing, rapping, fishing, driving, walking, exercising, lifting, city planning, DJing, guitaring, pianoing, bicycling, and shooting. This became a moment when our dear leader, who has high skills in every trade, demonstrated his level of masterfulness. Damn, Mr. Sharks, this Spurdy Muhammadov guy is epic. Don't you think you're throwing rocks at a hornet's nest by making this video? A hornet's nest that has high skills in every trait? Bruh. Turkmenistan is a landlocked country. It's an Iran away from the ocean. What's Spurdy Muhammadov gonna do? Pick up his country and throw it at me for a fight? Unless that pole weighs as much as a Turkmenistan, I'm fine. Okay, okay, I know all of you are expecting me to repeatedly remind you that this guy is a brutal dictator, how bad human rights are in Turkmenistan, the absurdity of the cult of personality, and how none of this is funny. To that I say no. Here on the Mr. Shark channel, we have fun. My days of force feeding you bad news that will inevitably leave you with the aftertaste of a harsh reality are over. You know what? Fine. I'll talk about his evil side. Pulling the strings, watching over Turkmenistan like Big Brother. As Arka Dog, all people within his jurisdiction are scared of going to the bathroom without his permission. A journalist says his guitar playing is mediocre? Unacceptable! He'll make sure Allah tells that bastard his life was mediocre before yeeting him to hell. It's Allah's job to judge sinners, but it's Birdie Muhammadov's job to send them to him. When you are a reality-bending entity that erases COVID-19 and memories of your embarrassing moments from existence, how hard can it be? He looks at the Democracy Index chart on Wikipedia and doesn't see Turkmenistan in 162nd place on the list. He sees his country in 6th place on the Turkmen-exclusive Authoritarian Index. Ugh. I didn't laugh once talking about that, not even a little bit. Now, let's get to his awesome side. It's when Arka Dog becomes Arka Dog, when he puts his main hobby to the side and goes to his main passion, art. As we all know, the artist has a duty to seduce the ear and delight the spirit. Does our boy do that? <laughs> Of course he does! If you don't think that sounds good, well, he had something in his eye. That's how amazing he is at this singing thing. Why can't you be more like this guy? Or this lady? What's stopping you? Do you have something in your eye? Oh please. Gurban Guli Berti Muhammadov shows us all that if you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything. Case in point, doing what the likes of Leonardo da Vinci did with a brush using oil money and forced labor to finish what Niyazov started, making Ashgabat the best capital city ever. Another thing they have in common besides leading Turkmenistan stronger than what people are comfortable with is a love for white marble. A love for white marble so intense that Turkmenistan imported 4,513,584 square meters of it. I imagine that cost a lot of money, but when you're sitting on one of the largest natural gas reserves in the world and the country's GDP may as well be your net worth, have at it. To Bertie Muhammadov, importing the white marble and destroying villages home to tens of thousands of people was just part of a great struggle to finish a masterpiece, not unlike Michelangelo's when he painted the Sistine Chapel in the most grueling way imaginable. 
Oh, and what would a capital city be without some Guinness World Records? Not the best capital city ever according to Bertie Muhammadov. Ashgabat is home to the world's largest architectural representation of a star, largest ferris wheel in an enclosed space, most fountains in any given public space, and of course, the highest concentration of white marble clad buildings. What, do those records sound specific as hell? On behalf of Bernie Muhammadov, <laughs> what are you gonna do, send a complaint about it? And let's not forget about his other architectural wonders, like government buildings that you'd expect to see in a kid's tycoon mobile game, and this massive wedding palace that was made not because there's an over marriage crisis, but because Ashgabat is simply Bernie Muhammadov's clay. And of course, there's the music. He does to a city with oil money what he does to fangirls with the keys, the voice, and the strings. It's hard to see from this angle, but he is playing the guitar. Sportly Turkmenistan is without a doubt his magnum opus. It changed music in his country forever. All the Turk boy bands had to sing it. It truly was the work of someone highly skilled. By the way, do you think it stops at art? Bruh, what part of Hornet's Nest that has high skills in every trade didn't you understand? Considering that he was the Minister of Health when Niazov was in charge, him showing off his physical readiness isn't unjustified. He was pudgy. He's not pudgy anymore. He has done some work. You can't deny that. You also can't deny that if the country's videos are anything to go off of, he definitely should be regarded in the same tier as Tom Brady. In 2019, there were rumors that he died. Time for a sequel. But what if I told you that in reality he did die, so how is he alive? Simple, he was barfed out of the afterlife, and if he impressed his disappointed god by driving around the whole very bit assly, he'd be revived. The results speak for themselves, and he was able to do that stuff the Turkmen government said he was doing instead of being dead. What a legend. He cared about the environment and did something about its deterioration when no one else would. Yeah, the Great Green Wall in Africa is ambitious, but maybe I would actually give a damn if Bertie Muhammadov was in charge. There's an awful lot of Bertie Muhammadov tutorials about combat things for the troops. Makes sense. Someone as masterful as him should have things to pass down to future generations. He's I... I mean high-ish. Overall, a very interesting man. To you should totally give Turkmenistan a visit, it's something I'd recommend. I mean, as we all know, I can't get to it, but you certainly can through playing, but uh... Just be respectful of their policies. Don't come home and complain about you can't do this, you can't do that, you're scared, that's bull****. Enjoy Turkmenistan. Have fun. That's it for this Eternity Remoras, and please, remember to treat every week like Shark Week. Ho Holy shit, what the fuck was that? Oh my god. Oh my god, what?! Uh, the camera should be around here somewhere... Oh! <laughs> I'm in trouble, aren't I? Oh god. Oh, oh, oh my god, no way! Alright, mister, high skills in every trait. Hit me with your best shot. I'm the Dark Souls of my species. <laughs> you can censor this loss, but you can't erase it. Oof. Bam! Damn it! I check the other one by. You're worse than bright side. Uh oh. I'm not even gonna give you a second to call me a son of a bitch. Booyah! Yo, guess what? Now this is happening. 
not high out of high.